This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hull Test, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at a relatively new feature in the P51D Mustang in DCS. We already have beam approach homing and we've showed a video on that using the controller beam approach device. Now we're looking at a type of beacon homing. So we have two variants of the P51D in DCS. We have the Dash 25 and the Dash 30. The Dash 30, known as the Pacific variant, is the one that has this option. First, we need to select a suitable beacon to home into. We've got this lovely Vortac here at uh, McCarran Airport. If we zoom in, we can say it is constantly transmitting on 116.90 MHz amplitude modulation with a Morse code identifier of Lima Alpha Sierra. I could have chosen anyone that is in the band that we can look at, and I will show you the band now. In Mission Editor, click on the aircraft there. Click on Radio Presets there. We are looking at the main radio, SCR522. We have four channels that we can change, as well as the base frequency. The frequency band is VHF, and if you want to know how high and how low, for instance, you could type in 1, and it will bottom out at 38 megahertz, and then type in maximum, it will clip up to 156. Uh, so that's how you can find the range of any of the radios in DCS. Uh, we're going to put in channel B. I've just chosen it. It doesn't have to be B, but I've chosen B116.90. That's our frequency set in channel B. Let's save and enter the game. The way this system works is the homing device is, sorry for the moving about, the homing device is the ANARA8 and it piggybacks to the SCR522, which is our main pre-selectable radio here. So first we're going to choose channel B as that is the frequency that we set in the mission editor. And you can hear there the beeps coming through. They're a little quiet so I'm going to turn up the audio on the radio and it's already maxed out. One thing to note is yes it is very quiet compared to the engine sound so you have to listen really carefully. I'm just going to listen to another cycle. That is the Morse code for the Morse code identifier that we've looked at earlier. You could translate that through to uh, the three characters if you want. Next, the master modes on the ANARA8. Communications, as we've got now, or homing, which we'll look at in a second, or coming in the future, transmit. That'll turn us into a beacon, and another aircraft will actually be able to be guided to us. It's currently not working, and we'll cover that when it is. So, let's go to homing. This now is going to give us beeps telling us if we are to the right of the heading to the runway or to the left of the heading of the runway or directly heading towards the runway. So listen very carefully. If it's dot dot dash, we must turn right. If it's dash dot dot, we need to turn left. And if it's just one long dash, we're on the correct heading. So let's listen. It's dash dot dot. That means we need to turn left. Now listen as the sound interpolates as we get on the correct heading. There we go, it's interpolated to a solid dash, therefore we know we're going the right way and obviously you can see the uh, beacon on the runway there and if we were too far to the left of the track, We've now got dot dot dash, dot dot dash, so we'd need to turn right. One thing to be aware of is that also, if I was heading perfectly in the reciprocal direction, we would also get a dash then. So the only way to know that you're heading the wrong way, bearing in mind you may be in IFR conditions or completely lost, is that we'd know that we're heading the wrong direction because the sequence of dot dot dash would be on the wrong side. So for instance, if I had dash dot dot, and I turned right and then got the tone, then I would know I was going the wrong way. If I was dash dot dot and turned left and then got the solid tone, I would then know I was going the right way. The rule to remember uh, which side to turn it without remembering uh, the sequence or the letters is you turn into the long dash. You kind of hear it as a sound phrase, dash, I, dot, dot, you know, have I get it. dash on the left side of it, you turn left. It. I get it. I'm going to draw up on the screen now the sequence, and you'll see exactly what Dragon's saying. So you always turn towards the dash. So a way I'm going to remember that myself is like stepping on the ball of a your slip gauge, always step on the ball. So this time, turn into the dash. I hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.